hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel and to this week's plan with me video this week we are planning out the week of march 14th through to march 20th and we are using this absolutely beautiful kit named clover by planner face this kit is very it gives spring vibes to me and for anyone who doesn't know in australia we've actually March is where we transition into autumn or fall, as Americans refer to it. Um, so when I picked out this kit, I was very conscious of the fact that the vibe that it gave off was very, very much spring in my eyes because of the colors. There's like the tulips, like tulips to me are like a spring flower. Um, but it was very spring vibes, but it was also a kit that gave a nod to St. Patrick's Day without being too green or you know too St. Patrick's Day heavy you know it wasn't cliche in terms of you know leprechauns and gold and rainbows and just green 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 it was kind of subtle pretty um obviously I wish <laughs> that it was spring when I used this kit but it is not but I decided that I was going to look past the season for this spread so I think I've said it before in some of my spreads, but when a certain event or a holiday or an occasion comes up, I tend to use whatever kit I want. So for example, when it is Easter, when it is somebody's birthday, when it is Christmas, I will use my favorite kits or I will buy kits that I'm absolutely in love with. And, you know, if it's the middle of winter where I'm generally using like dark blues and purples and like snow vibe type kits, but it's someone's birthday and I want to use like a pastel pink kit. I'm going to use the pastel pink kit for somebody's birthday. So I kind of treated this particular week like that in that we were celebrating St. Patrick's Day on the 17th of March or the holiday was observed on, it's not really a holiday though, not here. Like it's not a day that we get off or anything. It's just like one of those things where it's like today is St. Patrick's Day, drink green beer and that sort of thing. Like it's not hugely celebrated here in Australia but I guess for the sake of what I'm talking about I guess it's a holiday but like I said because it is a holiday I've observed my I guess my tradition of using whatever kit I saw fit to mark that occasion so in this particular instance I've used the clover kit despite the very spring vibes it gives off just because it is pretty there are shamrock patterns throughout like there's shamrocks on the tea uh, tea cups that I just placed down on that full box you know there are you know shamrocks scattered throughout but not blinding like they're not staring you in the face you kind of have to go looking for them but you don't at the same time if that makes sense so I thought this was the perfect kit to use and that bottom washi Gives off floral vibes to me, but if you look carefully, could also give off shamrock vibes. So I think that was very clever on Anna's part. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, the kit is from Planner Face. Uh, the date dots that I used this week are gold foil. They are from Stella Bosicico. Um, And then I bring in some foiled headers. I'm just having a look. I'm giving myself a little bit of a wiggle here. I think the header overlays that I've used this week, I'm pretty sure they are an overlay tape. Um, so they're like a foil header, gold perforated foil tape that I got from a D stash. I don't know where they're from. I would tell you if I did, I do apologize for that. But they were the perfect shade of gold because I decided that when I used, like when I laid down this kit, I wanted to use like that hot gold color or that real yellow gold color. So I pulled in as much of that as I possibly could. So the date dots from Stella Bow are very much the yellow gold. The header overlays are very much yellow gold. And then in the top left hand corner, when I eventually get to it, you will see that I bring in um, two foiled gold, like half scalloped mandala thingy-mabobbies. Um, so those particular ones that I've used are from Mum and Me Handmade Designs. And then I do bring in a March foiled script from Harriet Wright Designs. Um, you will also see that there are a couple of scripts in that yellow gold foil that I bring in throughout the spread uh, from Stella Bosicico. And then pretty much everything else is either handwriting or like black cursive scripts from Planner Face. 
Um, I do also use in the top left hand corner when I get to that you will see that I use a foil overlay from Scribble Prints Co which says Irish Kisses Shamrock Wishes. I had three other choices besides this one and I figured that with the whole shamrock pattern being scattered throughout this kit I thought that that was the most appropriate and when you look at that box I don't know if you'll see it in a wiggle at the end but it's kind of got the foiled shamrocks scattered throughout as well so I thought that fit really really nicely um this is the third time that I've attempted this voiceover so I'm hoping that there is no mistakes here but what I had just been saying before I realized that I had not sped my video up um, in the last voiceover that I did was that when I'm looking at this spread now, it is not my favorite spread. I don't hate it. I don't dislike it, but it is not up there with my favorites. And I was saying to my husband the other day, sometimes I feel like I talk to him about planner stuff and he just kind of nods as if he knows what I'm talking about or he pretends that he knows what I'm talking about. But I was saying to him that I feel like in January I was on this like planner high. I had, you know, this creative flair. I made these amazing kit choices. And then January passed and we moved into February into March. And I haven't even looked at my April lineup yet because I'm scared to at this point. But I feel like as I moved away from January, I moved into a spreads that I'm not as happy with. Like, again, I love some of them, but not to the extent that I love my spreads in January. And I don't know whether it was because I just, it just so happened that I had the perfect kits to use or that I had the right foils or, you know, the foil choices I really enjoyed. And I haven't really brought in as much foil in these later months, mainly because, you know, the previous spreads that I've done, I used Scribble Prints Co foiled bundles, but the ones that have like the foiled icon, like circle icons. And to me, they help bring a foil through a spread. So I don't know whether it's that because in my last couple of spreads, I haven't done that or whether it's, there's a couple of spreads where I've used planner face kits and I've used the thick washi as is because in Anna's older format kits she has like a thick bottom washi she doesn't have the split washi and I've used the thicker washi a couple of times and I don't know whether it's that that's putting me off because I'm not used to seeing it I'm kind of used to having that divide in the bottom washi um I don't know what it is I, I don't even know with this particular spread I do end up using some underlay stickers from Stella Bow Sticker Co and they are on a matte white paper so they're bougie boxes essentially but they're on a white matte paper instead of like your transparent bougie boxes. And I don't know whether it's the pattern of the confetti on those or I don't know, but there's just something about this spread that when I look at it, it's not quite cohesive. There is also the fact that the way that I marked work this week, I used a little Coffee Monsters Co Emoji sticker and a work from home planner face script. And I don't know whether that's because like, because that's layered on those bougie boxes. You'll see that bougie box there on Wednesday at the bottom. You can't really tell from a distance, I don't think, but the confetti in some some parts is kind of clustered. And so when I put my work from home like schedule down, I don't know whether because there's white space that's not white space, whether that's throwing me and whether if I maybe lifted those up and put them in a box, whether it would look more cohesive. I don't know what it is. There's just there's something. So if there's something that you pick out that I could fix to make this spread a little better, let me know. But I don't know. Like I said, I don't dislike it. It just, it's not my favorite. Anyway, that was a really long intro. Um, as you'll see, we're working through the sidebar at the moment. So I laid down my socials as per every week. So I've used a YouTube bun and Instagram icon from Sticker Thief. But once again, I didn't actually mark my social stats for this week. So I just left them blank essentially. And then as I've been doing... For this year, I actually mark in what I'm reading every week and I do that using a currently script from Planner Face. Um, and I was still and still am reading Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, and I've just marked that with a little Stella Bow Sticker Co foiled icon. And then you will see that for some reason I didn't catch me actually filming at the bottom of that sidebar and now I'm laying down those bougie boxes that I talked about, which is really bizarre to me because like I said, it's like... It's a bougie box, but it's not a bougie box and then not quite long enough. So I kind of had to 
you will see as we get into the spread that I slice and dice some of those boxes to make them work so that I can lay my boxes out the way that I want them to. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks okay now. And then I feel like I started putting the stickers down and it just, it didn't work for me. So I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking about that because <laughs> we're going to go ahead and jump into the day by day here. So the first thing that I mark on Monday is, of course, Coffee Monday. So I've marked that in with a Sticker Thief coffee mug and a Coffee Monday foiled script from the Sticky Committee, who I don't think is open anymore. I don't know whether they've closed permanently, but I know that the store isn't open at the moment. I then marked Working From Home with a Planner Face script and a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji, as I mentioned earlier. I did also do some laundry on this day, which I've just laid over a washi piece and used a Stellabo Sticker Co. foiled script to mark that. This day I did also stack the dishwasher and I've used a little dishes icon from Sticker Thief to mark that. And then I did stew, did stew? I did do some sticker organizing. So I've marked that in with a little like planner cup sticker from the kit. And then I watched maths after that or married at first sight for anyone who doesn't know what maths means. And then I did hang out in my friend's streams on Twitch, which I've just marked with a little laptop sticker from the kit as well. On to Tuesday, I marked working from home the same as Monday. And of course, as you guys know, however I choose to mark my work from home on Monday, I carry that through the rest of the week. And it worked really nicely this week because I had these little Coffee Monsters Co. emojis in green and pink that I was like never going to use because I like to match my icons and my characters to my spread as best I can. And I thought it was the perfect occasion to use them. So that is what I did. On this particular day, I was feeling incredibly tired. Again, I have been feeling quite tired of late. I don't know what it is, but I marked that with a little sticker thief bun who has a coffee mug, coffee mug, coffee mug that says shut up on it, but it's so strategically drawn that the, like the full shut up or whatever it is, I think it says shut up. Yeah. The shut up is actually like cut off. So it just says like, shh and then ah, which I think is really fun. Um, I did then mark that I had a cup of coffee after work. So again, I've used a little Sticker Thief coffee mug and a uh, Stella Bro Sticker Co. foil script to mark that. I did turn the dishwasher on this day. So I finished loading it up, filled it and then put it through a cycle. So exciting being an adult. And the dishwasher sticker that I use is from Plenaface. I did also do a bit of a general tidy up this day. So I've used the vacuum sticker from the kit to mark that. And then once again, I did watch Married at First Sight. And then following that, once again, <laughs> I did hang out on Twitch, which I've marked with a little Coffee Monsters Co. emoji sticker. My days are pretty predictable at this point. Like Monday through Friday is generally very predictable for me. So I do apologize if you feel like you're seeing the same thing over and over again. But it is what it is. That's my life essentially. So that's what I put down. I do, if something sort of more exciting comes about, I definitely mark that, you know, I would definitely mark something more exciting than stacking the dishwasher if something more exciting happened. But if that's the highlight of my day, that's the highlight of my day. Um, <laughs> and then the last thing that I marked for Tuesday was that I read in bed. I do like to read a chapter of my book a night before I go to sleep. It just kind of helps me unwind a little bit and de-stress a little bit. Um, so I just marked that in with a book sticker from the kit. Wednesday, I've marked working from home. And then this day, my father-in-law wasn't well. He was actually, as my husband was leaving the hospital, he had like a some sort of seizure or something along those lines. I can't remember exactly because it was just, this particular like couple of weeks was just a nightmare. So I marked that my father-in-law wasn't well and that I was stressed. And I marked that in with a little fox and cactus character sticker. I did then have to finalize my rego payment for my car or my registration for my car this day. So I've marked that with a car sticker from my stash. And then pretty much after work, I chilled out on the couch and I've used some deco from the kit to mark that. I watched Married at First Sight once again. And then this particular night, I did wash my hair. So I've marked that in with a script from Planner Face and a character sticker from Sinister Designs, who is no longer open. And then I did put payday down at the bottom. I usually put it up the top, but I forgot and I didn't want to peel everything up. So I've marked that at the bottom with a Sheila Sugar sticker from Marshmallow Studio and a payday sticker from Arctic Paper Studio, who also is no longer open. Over onto Thursday, the first thing that I marked was St. Patrick's Day. And I just marked that in with a little foiled script from Harriet Wright Designs and some deco from the kit. 
And then of course I did mark working from home. I also did some laundry this day. So I've just marked that in with a laundry script from Stella Bow Sticker Co over some washi. And then I did have my waxing and nail appointment this afternoon. So I've marked that in with a nail polish sticker from Sinister Designs. And then on the way home, I did get some KFC for dinner. And then when I got home, I chilled out on the couch with my husband and we watched the football. So the couch sticker is from Olive Planico, who is no longer open. I do apologize. So many stores are closed. So I apologize that you can't get a lot of what I'm putting down. But of course, I still want to use them because I did pay for them. Um, and my the football that we watched was my team. So we versed the Melbourne Storm and we, uh, we lost by one point. So it was 15 to 14, the final score. Friday, I've of course marked working from home last working day of the week. This day I did have a headache, which wasn't fun. And I've marked that in with a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji. I did play some Sims after work. So I've marked that in with a little laptop sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. And then I've put a little sticker thief plum bob in the middle of the laptop to make it look like Sims is on the screen, which I thought was pretty cool. After that, I did come downstairs and have a bit of a YouTube binge, which I've marked in with a Planet Goddess Studio YouTube button. And this night we did have Mad Max for dinner, which I've marked with a taco sticker from Fox and Cactus. And we watched the Candyman 2021 version, which I've marked with a popcorn sticker from the kit. Jumping into the weekend, on Saturday morning I did sleep in, so I've marked that in with some pillows from the kit or some deco from the kit and a sleep in sticker from Kinsey's Creation, who once again is also closed. I did also do some filming this day, so I've marked that in with a Happy Dyer camera sticker and a film script from Planiface. And then I did have a cup of coffee, which I've marked with a coffee mug from the kit and a script from Celebo Sticker Co., um, and whilst I did that and whilst I sipped on and enjoyed my coffee, I did watch some more of The Witcher. I think I might've finished The Witcher this day. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Cause I feel like I generally actually write in my plans, like finished whatever the show was so that I know, but I didn't, I've just put Witcher. So I'm not sure, but I watched The Witcher and the TV I've used is from Olive Planico. This particular evening, my husband's best friend uh, had a dinner at a Chinese restaurant not far from where we live. So I've marked that we had dinner um, that evening and I've just used a little like plate deco sticker from the kit to mark that. When we did come home that night, we actually had a snake in our doorway. I did share that on Instagram. You may not have seen it. I shared it in my stories, but it was this tiny little black and white banded snake, which we think was a bandy bandy. Super small, super thin. I've lived in this area for 34 years of my life and I've never ever seen a snake in the flesh. This was the first time that I've ever seen a snake in my whole 34 years. And I mean, it wasn't great, <laughs> but very interesting. So we ended up having to call the fire brigade out because they do like a catch and release thing for free. Whereas if you call like a snake catcher, they charge you fees. So I've marked that in with a little Marshmallow Studio sticker and then a Once More With Love like paper bag over its head. I should say munchkin with a paper bag over its head to mark that we were a little bit embarrassed because the fireys did turn up with their full fire engine, lights, everything. It was, it was crazy. So that was great. <laughs> and then on Sunday, it was my husband's best friend's actual birthday so his dinner was the night before but his birthday was on the Sunday so I've marked that in with a fox and cactus cake sticker I did also mark that we slept in this day and I've marked that with a Kinsey's creation foiled script and a little sticker there from Sakura Mochi Designs my husband went to see his dad at the hospital this day so I've marked that with a stethoscope from Stella Bow Sticker Co and while he was gone, I did watch some chick flicks. So I watched Rough Night and Can You Keep a Secret on Netflix. Both were great. Highly recommend. Um, and I've just marked that with some little, a little icon and a little like layering piece from my stash. And then the last two things that I marked on Sunday were that I watched uh, Married at First Sight and I washed my hair. And I've just marked those the same way as I previously have for the rest of the week. And oh my goodness, that is that whole week done. I feel like I need to slow these videos down a bit, but if I slow them down, they're probably going to be like 30, 35 minutes long. And I don't know if I have enough about like enough to talk about for that amount of time, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching. I will let you go and I hope you enjoyed the video, but I'll see you all very, very soon for another one.
Bye for now. Thank you.